Before beginning the pole disassembly process, refer to the RS pole slip joint disassembly kit work instructions. To manually separate assembled RS modules, support the pole on each side of the joint with pole stands or timbers, such that the pole is as level as possible and not binding in the area of the slip joint. Then, remove the blind nuts and bolts or leg screws from both sides of the slip joint. Even while holding the retention cable, the blind nut may spin inside the pole when the securing bolt is loosened. Once the bolt is loose enough, a second wrench placed between the washer and the pole surface with pressure up and away from the pole surface will hold the blind nut against the inside of the pole wall and allow the nut to be completely removed. Once the blind nuts or lag screws that mechanically fasten the slip joints are removed, ensure that no other bolt and or screw hardware is in the slip joint overlap area of the two modules to be disassembled. Install an upper module bracket such that the oval post sits in the base slot and the heel of the bracket is in contact with the bottom edge of the upper module. Repeat this step on the opposite side of the module. Wrap and tighten one safety strap around the pole to secure both brackets onto the upper module. It is important that this safety strap be as tight as reasonably possible. Directly below the upper module brackets on the A and C axes of the pole, place a mark at 26 and a half inches or 673 millimeters from the bottom edge of the upper module. Using a one and 1 inch or 27 millimeter hole saw from the kit, drill a hole at this mark. Repeat on the opposite side of the pole. Place one of the hydraulic cylinder rams into the base of the upper bracket. Line up the ram with the drilled holes and slide the 1 inch or 25 millimeter threaded rod through the pole. Place the other hydraulic cylinder ram on the opposite side of the pole, sliding it over the threaded rod. The spacers from the kit can take up slack on the threaded rod. Hand tighten a nut onto each side of the rod. While holding the top of the hydraulic cylinder ram so it is centered on the base of the upper bracket, secure these two brackets with another ratchet strap from the kit. Using a marker, place an alignment arrow on one of the lower brackets and the module it is attached to. Any movement between these two markings will indicate that the pole wall could be damaged and that additional threaded rods are required to complete the disassembly process. Refer to the work instructions. After removing the red plastic caps from the threaded fittings, Connect the hydraulic pumps to the cylinders. Ensure a secure connection by hand tightening both hydraulic fittings. Proper orientation of the hand pumps and ensuring the valves are in the correct position is critical to the successful operation of the hydraulic system. Open the breather valve counterclockwise and ensure the release valve is closed. Keep the breather valve oriented at a higher elevation than the release valve to prevent air getting trapped inside the hydraulic chamber. Operate the hand pumps simultaneously until the hydraulic cylinder ram is in contact with both upper brackets. Continue pumping each side until the joint separates. If the joint fails to separate despite substantial force being applied to the pumps, then strike the joint with the dead blow hammer provided. The shock load delivered by the hammer strike often provides enough extra energy to force the joint to release. This may be repeated multiple times until the modules move far enough to allow the pumps to provide enough force to complete the disassembly. Once the initial separation has taken place, one hand pump and cylinder can be used to continue the separation until the 6 inch or 152 millimeter stroke of the cylinder has been reached. For vertical disassembly, additional separation must be achieved to reduce the possibility of binding. Open the release valve to retract the cylinder not used to fully separate the joint and insert a vertical lift extender. Continue pumping until the additional 6 inches or 152 millimeters of separation is reached. To retract the cylinders, turn the release valves counterclockwise to release the pressure. Close the release valves and the breather valves prior to packing up in the container. Disconnect both pumps and replace all caps including the black plastic caps over the hydraulic cylinder rams. Use extra caution when the ratchet strap from the lower bracket is removed. Disassemble and return all parts to the disassembly kit.